Hey guys, this is Tyler with Secure Team 10. We have an extremely interesting, albeit frightening, video for you today. So let's go ahead and jump right into it and not waste any time. Now, over the past week, we have received an onslaught of reports coming in from multiple eyewitness sources in Puerto Rico, describing what we now know to be a massive military buildup in the region. Sources have also confirmed that FEMA has shipped and delivered nearly 3 million body bags into Puerto Rico, as well as plastic coffins, ready-to-eat meals, and a buildup of military hardware that would make the Cold War seem like a walk at Disneyland. Now, with the fast approaching of Comet Ison and the recent almost complete shutdown of not only our government, but of NASA and all space-related monitoring programs, it begs the question, just what is really going on? And was the recent shutdown of our government tied directly into the strange mystery behind Comet Ison? Eh, si sí, dicen que funcionarios federales han señalado que el área de FEMA, o sea, la región 3, que cubre la zona este, la costa este de Estados Unidos, vamos a hablar de Washington, DC, Delaware, Maryland, Pensilvania, Virginia, Virginia Occidental, Nueva York, pues se prepara en... Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is J.R. Moore coming to you live from deep in the mountains of the Missouri Ozarks. On Wednesday, the second day of October, Year of our Lord, 2013. Welcome to the John Moore Show. We have uh, Professor James McCanny waiting for us. John, good morning. How are you? Real good, sir. Uh, I want to check uh, the uh, time of the official U.S. government time clock this morning, and it was shut down because the government was shut down. They shut down this website, uh, which is an automated system that doesn't require any human beings to attend to. I was a bit shocked, Jim, and uh, I guess you're not surprised, though, are you? Yeah, the same thing happened with the NASA website, and so these are automated. They're already funded. They're already paid for, and it makes you it makes you realize that we literally do not have any more federal government. We yes. simply it's gone. It's gone. And well, that's you the know, intent. This, John, yeah, this this made me realize that. This would be the time, I think they're advancing the time in which they want to pull the power outage and the cyber attack and the all the other goofy stuff that would bring in uh, basically a new banking system, new world order, and uh, basically martial law. Anyway, Jim, uh, the uh, the news, of course, for quite a while, a number of months here, have been Comet Ison. Uh, there's been a lot of disinformation put out there. Uh, speculation fueled by NASA. Give us an update on Comet Ison, if you would, please, sir. Uh, but here's what's going on. Uh, Comet Ison approached and has now passed Mars. Uh, Mars went Comet. And uh, I, I observed it. I had other people observe it. And uh, it might be one of the reasons that the government shut down, because it's the Mars, the coma around Mars is now extremely visible. This is an event we have not seen in thousands of years. I am amazed uh, at this thing. Comet Ison fastly approaching and its now confirmed anomalous effect on planet Mars, we begin to slowly piece the puzzle together and realize what may be the real truth behind the federal government's closure. We will continue to closely monitor the FEMA buildup of military hardware in Puerto Rico and post new videos daily revealing only the newest information as we get it. Once again, thank you for watching, and remember to subscribe, share, and check back with Secure Team 10 first, because we are definitely your number one stop for underground news.